You're listening to a Hindustan Times podcast brought to you by HD Smartcast. Hello. These are the top news for the day. Continuing her tirade against the center over the Manipur crisis, West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee on Friday said the BJP's Beti Bachao scheme has now turned into Beti Jalao. The TMC boss wondered why the center never bothered to send central teams to Manipur, where ethnic strife has claimed over 160 lives so far. We want to express our solidarity with Manipur. The BJP had sent so many central teams to Bengal after the panchayat polls. Why no central team was sent to the northeastern state? She questioned. Addressing the party's annual Martyrs Day rally here. Banerjee expressed her solidarity with the newly formed Opposition Alliance India and asserted that their mission is to remove the Safran camp from power. She warned that the return of the BJP government would signal the demise of democracy. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh on Friday said in Lok Sabha that the government was ready for a discussion on the Manipur violence amidst vociferous protests by opposition parties which disrupted the proceedings of the house for the second consecutive day. As soon as the house met, the members of the opposition parties were on their feet. The members, including those from the Congress, DMK and left, raised slogans and told speaker Om Birla that Manipur is bleeding. The speaker told the opposition members that sloganeering will not bring any solution to the problem but only dialogues and discussions can. As the opposition did not heed to his requests, Birla asked the defense minister to speak. Singh, who is also the deputy leader of the house, said the government is ready for a discussion on Manipur incidents. Britain's ruling Conservatives on Friday held the former seat of ex-Prime Minister Boris Johnson but saw hefty majorities into other constituencies blown away as voters responded to scandals during his tenure and high inflation. Rishi Sunak was expected to become the first Prime Minister in decades to lose three parliamentary seats on one day, but was spared that humiliation due to a narrow victory in the northwest London seat of Uxbridge and South Ruislip. That result, driven by opposition to Labour Mayor Sadiq Khan's contentious expansion of a vehicle pollution tax to outer London, offered the embattled Tory leader some relief. But the wiping out of his party's 19,000 majority in the Somerton and Frome seat and its 20,000 majority in the Selby and Insty constituency will come as hammer blows ahead of an expected general election in 2024. England opener Zach Crawley completed his 2000 runs in test cricket on Thursday and also registered the third highest amount of runs in a day's play by an England batter in Ashes tests. Crawley accomplished this during the fourth Ashes test at Manchester against Australia. Having struggled against inconsistent form before the series, Crawley delivered a perfect answer to his critics, smashing 189 in just 182 balls, consisting of 21 fours and 3 sixes. He had important partnerships with Moeen Ali and Joe Root that helped England get a lead. In 38 matches, Crawley has scored 2109 runs at an average of 31.01. These runs have come at a strike rate of 63.33. He has scored four centuries and nine fifties with the best score of 267. He is currently the highest run scorer in this year's Ashes. He has scored 385 runs in seven innings of four matches at an average of 55.00 with one century and one fifty. His runs have come at a strike rate of almost 90. Film fans headed to cinemas in Los Angeles for early screenings of Barbie and Oppenheimer, a double header being billed as Barbenheimer. At the TCL Chinese Theater on Hollywood Boulevard, some moviegoers were fully getting into the global Barbenheimer craze with plans to see both films on the same day. Both films open on Friday, a simultaneous release dubbed Barbenheimer, but could not be more different. Barbie stars Margot Robbie as the Mattel doll. who is living her idyllic life in Barbie world until one day she starts having dark thoughts and flat feet Oppenheimer from acclaimed director Christopher Nolan stars Cillian Murphy as US physicist J Robert Oppenheimer 
who oversaw the creation of the atomic bomb during World War II. Many of the fans coming to see Barbie dressed up in pink and posed for pictures in a makeshift Barbie toy box. You were listening to the HD Daily News Wrap, a beta production brought to you by HD Smartcast. Please give us feedback on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at HD Smartcast or via email to podcasts at hindustantimes.com. Until next time. To stay updated on this podcast, follow us at HD Smartcast on all the major social media platforms. To listen to more such podcasts, log on to www.hdsmartcast.com. Listener.